Welcome guys back to the channel. This is my first day after the holiday. I just came back. Um, so let's switch the camera and see what has Dan done so far, what he has achieved or managed to get done without me when I was away. So as you can see, still two Mazdas on jack stands and there is another one Citroen on the jack stand. So let's check this one first. It is nicely cleaned. Still the intake ports has to be done by the water blasting machine. Um, yeah, and also like oil strainer replaced, valve cover cleaned, parts cleaned. So they basically, injectors cleaned. So they are basically just waiting for the refitment um, and the walnut blasting. But I'll get back to that later. Let's check this one. Cleaned as well. And also like a very big plus. Look at that. You see what is that? The pulley and the bolt. He managed to get it off or break loose without me. So it's a big plus for him. He may deserve a raise. <laughs> um, so yeah, also this one has to be assembled back together. Obviously timing chain, um, still finish the, the walnut blasting, which I will get back to that later as well. Um, few new parts needed. So basically the, obviously the new pulley, um we've got new timing cover and the timing chain kit and I'll, I'll check if I, if we if we ordered few other parts for it or not but I think that's it at the moment and let's check this one because you asked us quite a lot of times that we only do Mazdas no we don't but we've got the most requests with those Mazdas so obviously you can see them a lot more on the channel as other cars but we are going to do a dual mass flywheel and a clutch on this i think a citroen i don't know was a c5 whatever citroen so basically it's an automated manual transmission it has um, electric uh, clutch release bearing so yeah then has removed the, the transmission checked the parts the parts are ordered so we are just waiting for them to arrive and then fit it back together and give it back to the owner but now let me get back to them these Mazdas so we are going to do the carbon cleaning now because the camshafts are removed and all um, all valves are in the closed position so we don't need to afraid or no need, don't need to be afraid if something falls into the combustion chamber or well, anyways obviously we will check that and double check and make sure with the endoscope that the valves are like closed and then we'll do the uh, walnut blasting on that one and then we're still going to do um, transmission fluid replacement or change on that white Mazda 3 and then a brake fluid replacement and as you can see my brother's Audi is here so there will be content on the channel on, the, on that one as well and also I forgot to mention that before we, we start the walnut blasting we will put back just the valve cover put back with two bolts and then plug the injector holes so that nothing can get into the cylinder head and after we'll carry out the walnut blasting so now we are done with the carbon cleaning And let me show you the other one. So what we are going to do now, this one needs a timing chain as well. So we are going to fit a new timing chain and then put back the oil pump and the, the parts of the oil pump, the sprocket, the chain, and then seal the oil pan because that has to cure at least we usually always leave it for at least 24 hours but even even for longer let's say two days the longer the better because the sealant can cure and it won't leak 
ask me how I know. It happened to me a few times before, so now I never, never leave it less than 24 hours. And on this one, basically, it will be a quite quick one because this one just needs the oil pan refitted, sealed, obviously, um, yeah, oil pump as well. But this will take a lot less time than that one. But I guess both will be ready by the weekend. I can't believe it. We just finished and Dan is going to eat. I can't believe this guy, you can't make it up. So what we've done, we've put the oil pan back on that white Mazda. We did the same on the red one. Uh, we're going to put the camshafts tomorrow and the rest of the parts of the intake manifold and the EGR parts. Um, obviously going to do the same with that one tomorrow. We will start this one uh, up and take it for test drive and see if anything or if everything is uh, okay with it. And then we're going to have two more cars tomorrow. One is coming for diagnostics and another one is inject for injector bracket replacement. It is quarter to 10. As I said, <laughs> he's eating. <laughs> I can't believe it. So yeah, to be honest, we are quite tired. It was again a night shift. So we'll carry on tomorrow. Hope this, this video gave you some information or you learned something from, uh, from it. But yeah, this was it. We are heading home in a bit and see you soon in the very next video, which will be obviously done tomorrow. So see you in the next one and take care. Bye bye.